video, we're going to show you how to retouch photos without losing quality by using Airbrush Studio. First of all, you need to import a high resolution photo in order for you to get started with uh, Airbrush Studio. So here, you can click on the plus sign here. And uh, this is the photo that we're going to use today. It's a uh, 8000 by 8000 um, high resolution portrait photo and the uh, airbrush studio can support up to 8000 by 8000 uh, pixels when it comes to photo editing so this is the photo that we're going to use today and click on the open button here in order to get started then double click on the photo um, the point of today's video is to show you how to retouch photos without losing quality. So the photo that I picked today is perfect itself already. Um, we're only going to apply some of the effects here instead of all of them. Um, we do have another video mainly talks about those retouching tools. Um, you can watch that video if you're interested in those features. So we're going to get started um, to retouch the photo. Um, I think the skin itself is perfect already. Um, we're not going to do anything on that. Um, personally, I prefer um, darker skin tone. So I'm going to change the skin tone to a little bit darker. And uh, I prefer warmer um, skin tone temperature. So I'm going to move the toggle here so um, I prefer um, the eyes to be brighter and I want to remove some of the dark circles here and I prefer bigger iris here <laughs> um, we can't really see her teeth here so there's no point for us to make any adjustment here and uh, we can barely see any wrinkles here so we don't need to make make any changes here and the makeup is perfect itself already so um let's take a look at uh, i mean how we did on this photo we can click on the compare button here and that we can see oh, okay this is the difference uh, between before editing and uh, after editing and once it's all set uh, we can export the photo by uh, clicking on the button here um, here airbrush studio offers um, two options when it comes to export quality uh, normal size and compressed size um, so we're going to stick with the normal size since the purpose of today's uh, video is to show you how to retouch photos without losing quality right so click on save um, it's going to take some time to process the photo since it since it's a high resolution one um, we will know once it's ready um, the action uh, down down of the action there's an open button here uh, it will turn orange then that's a time we can uh, the export is ready and we can open the uh, the photo okay so we're good to go um, before we double click on the photo let's check the photo info first so uh, the photo is still a 8000 by 8000 pixels uh, photo um, the quality resolution has not been changed at all then we can double click on the photo um, this is the result that we get from airbrush studio and uh, we can compare this photo with the original photo that uh, we have so you can see the difference between 
um, these two photos after editing. However, the quality remains the same even after editing. So, yep, here you go. That's it for today's video. This is how you can retouch photos without losing quality by using Airbrush Studio. Hope you enjoy and learn something from today's video. Cheers.